Okay, hello. Um, I apologize for the other video. I had a bad SD card. Um, I don't know if it was formatted too many times or whatever, but it was really weird. It would skip and then it would splice the video together. So I just what that, which I'm hoping is not the camera. So we get the pack plugged in, and as you can hear, there's no fan. Um, I left a link, a link in the description where you can pick these up. Like I said, this one's normally open, which is rare, because usually most of them they sell are closed. So at 55, it will it will switch on and off with the heat from the from the um, controller or motor, and uh, it's a safe range. I can just show you how well it works. And I'll save on my battery because I doubt I'll need the fans in the winter time. So, but uh, it'll run until it cools. Okay, so that's that's good to go. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably on the FET side is I'll remove some of these fins and then I'll Dremel it out and then I'll mount that and uh, silicone the screw holes so then get any water in the uh, controller. So that's done. Um, I, don't know. I don't think I need a fan for that, but uh, it's just it's easier than taking this apart. I don't want to touch the um, the motor. It works so well. And then we'll uh, swap this uh, power supply over the lights and test the lights. I have everything else powered up. I can show you some of the goodies I got here. Uh, there's the alarm system with the relay that works with the keychain. Turn the bike off and on. Um, there's a USB hub underneath there that's been working. It's been through water and everything. I think just keeps working. But I can plug basically a phone or anything I want into that and charge. It also powers the backlight and the front lights, which are on a separate switch. Ow, 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 ow. For the, um, for the front lights, which I'm about to show you. Just wanted to show you my resting voltage, it's about 73. And let's turn the lights on here. As you can see, they're they're not bad. Um, they could be brighter. So I'm going to end up uh, swapping that out. See if it uh, see if there's a difference. Use that for roof. Okay, when it comes to swapping that, I I suppose I could have just cut the the main um, AC wire down here and just basically spliced into it but I didn't want to do that so I took the old one off last thing I need is uh, almost a hundred volts DC running through this wire and there's a short so it's the wire that's plugged into the box there goes all the way through here and right to the right to the junction box there which is isolated so what uh, does it look brighter yeah definitely show you. <clears throat> Big difference. Check our pack voltage is 73 and there you go. That's way brighter than it was. Way brighter. Pretty sure I'll get complaints about it but uh, that's nice. Wow, that is super bright. And they're running at 30, 32 volts. That steps it down. Delay. So that's done. I gotta finish taping up the wires and everything else, and and then um, we'll see what else we can find to play with. Oh, I still gotta finish the um, the relay for that. Um, it's still up near. If I want to put that on the uh, controller or inside the hub water. So we'll see what we can do with that. But as you can see, it did work.